Hello everyone, this is Steve Klein back with another coin video and today I am really excited to tell y'all the values of 1909 pennies. Uh, this is one video that I've been looking forward to doing because of how um, the range in values that these pennies have depending on the markings that they have and depending on uh, just some different factors that we'll go through here. It's really cool to be able to go and find some of these pennies in your collection if you have these. So um, I'm really excited to go through and just tell you all about um, everything about these pennies and tell you exactly how much I think that your penny is worth depending on what you have at home or what you may get if you're a coin collector and you may find some of these in change, you know, in your change in the future. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into it uh, today with this video and just start talking about what is going to make the values of these pennies valuable. So the biggest thing to consider, obviously, is uh, so far is um, that you need to make sure that it actually says 1909 for the penny date See if I can uh, get that on there. Sometimes it has a little bit hard time focusing. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. So it says 1909, maybe a little bit hard to read out. Um, and so obviously it's gotta say the date on there, uh, but w there's a few different markings on the 1909 pennies that will differentiate the value uh, really you know, greatly. Um, and so one of those things that you need to look out for, the first thing is to see if there's any letter that's under the 1909 date. So for this penny specifically, I already have it marked so I know that there's no letter here, but um, if this was, uh, if it did have a letter on the bottom of the date, it would say 1909 here and then it would say an S on the bottom. Uh, and so it looks like we don't have one there, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, if you do have one on your penny, that's going to be a telltale sign um, of, uh, of some value. Uh, but um, so, yeah, that's the first marking to look out for in uh, the 1909 pennies. And the second marking, and I'm going to show it on this penny because this one actually has it. So uh, this one doesn't have uh, the letter on the bottom. It still says 1909, but no letter on the bottom. But on the back here, and I hope that it's going to be able to read this on the camera, on the very bottom of the penny, it's going to be right here, it says VDB. And let's see, there we go. You may be able to see it really faintly, I apologize, the camera's zooming in and out, there we go. You might see little letters that are on there, it says VDB. And that is another marking that we're going to be looking out for with these pennies because, again, it is going to tell the difference in the values. So, of course, that being said, if you do have those markings or you don't have those markings, how much is that value going to be of your pennies? Well, I'm just going to start out with um, the simple 1909 penny that just has the date, no letter underneath it, and uh, without the VDB on the back. So these pennies, um, they, they range a little bit depending on what uh, condition your coin is in. Mine is not so great of a condition. You know, you can fairly see the date there and you see that there's a little bit of markings that's on the front and, you know, Lincoln looks a little faded on here. So um, for a penny like this, it's going to be probably about a dollar, maybe two dollars, um, you know, on the market. And... Um, they range from about a dollar to about five dollars depending on you know if it looks a lot better than mine you know you could probably get a you know closer to about five bucks for it uh, but if it's a little bit more dull um, you know it's you still could get about a dollar for it which is which is really nice considering the fact that um, you know it's just uh, it's only a cent and technically you know even a dollar getting for this coin it's a hundred times its value so that's something that's really nice but um, I also want to mention too, so with every video that I do, I um, put different pennies in different categories being um, duds, fair value, or keepers. And um, I will say, so for this penny, I do think it's a keeper. It's one that I love to have for my collection. And, um, you know, it may only be worth a dollar, but hey, that's still a dollar for a penny. And um, I think that the value is going to go up in the future too, which is, you know, pretty cool too. So the next penny that I'm going to talk about is the 1909 VDB without the S 
that's at the bottom of the date. So this is just uh, just like my penny here. Um, if I was to give a value for the 1909 VDBs, again, without the S that's underneath the 1909, that's very important, very crucial. Um, the values of these can also range a little bit, but you'll typically see these pennies going for about five to 20 or $25. And so the value definitely goes up a little bit. The cool thing is, is this penny I actually found in, um, or I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I found both of these pennies in uh, just going through different uh, coin rolls from the bank. And so it was a really cool find to, you know, to have because this, uh, mine alone, I'm guessing that this, uh, you know, based on this grade and everything like that uh, for this penny, um, it's about $12. So just by looking in some coin rolls, I was able to find this penny and it's a really cool find. You could probably sell it on eBay or on Craigslist or, you know, you could probably sell it for, uh, you know, a little bit of a profit there considering you just got it for a cent if you got it like from the bank rolls. Um, and so... Uh, that is uh, the next one there. Once again, I want to call this one a keeper because it is a really cool penny and um, it definitely has a little bit of value there. All right, so the next one is going to be the 1909 S penny. So the one that has the S at the bottom of the 1909 would be from the San Francisco Mint. So if it just has the 1909 and it has the S on the bottom, but it does not have the words in the letters VDB that's on the back. So it's just a plain penny on the back, but it does have the S on the front. There was a low mintage of coins for that year um, for uh, the S series or the San Francisco Mint series. And so that value is going to go up uh, also uh, quite a bit with those two. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any to show you, like I said, but the values that you can expect, if you do have that in your coin collection, if you're looking at it right now and it says 1909, it says S on the bottom, but no VDB, you can expect that at lowest, your value of that penny is going to probably be about $50 to um, up to about $200 um, is what I've kind of seen. That's kind of been the average. Um, so again, it'll depend on the grade and how good it looks and different things like that. But you can expect if you find that penny that uh, it's going to be worth about 50 to $200. So that is something that's really cool to have for your collection. Obviously a keeper, um, that is something that, um, you know, I would keep for a long time. I think the value is going to, you know, continue to grow for that too. And the last but not least, uh, the most valuable penny that there is, um, or at least, the, you know, the most valuable penny that I've seen and that I've seen um, attract the most attention is the 1909 with the S at the bottom and then a VDB on the back. So if you find all three of those where it says the date, the S, and the VDB on there, then you've got a really cool coin on your hands. Uh, those pennies alone, like the minimum value that I've seen uh, for them, even if it's you know not so good of a grade, but you still you know it still has all those on there. Um, your penny is going to be worth at at low at a low value probably about five hundred dollars. At uh, at a high value, if it's just like a normal penny and it looks you know fairly clean, things like that, you could expect to even find up close to a thousand dollars, two thousand um, dollars, and going up from there. There was one uh, penny that I saw online where, um, you know, I think it was sold on an auction or something like that, that it went for, if I'm not mistaken, $56,400 for one that was in mint condition. Um, and that is just astronomical for a penny. You know, that's over, what would that be, 500,000 times its value. So that is something that's really cool if you do have that. But um, overall, these are really cool pennies to have. Um, and uh, I hope that uh, you've learned a little bit in this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I, I know my, my channel's been gaining a little bit of attraction. And the more that it gets, the more videos that I'll post. So, uh, you know, please stay tuned so I can, you know, just review a little bit more of these pennies and kind of uh, even just go through with your coin jar with you and tell you the values of those different pennies that you have. Um, and hopefully... Um, you've, uh, you have one of these valuable pennies here, even if it's just a normal 1909, you know, don't be discouraged. That's still a really cool penny to have. You know, it might be worth, uh, you know, a dollar to five dollars and it's more than a penny. So that's something that's really exciting. I really love these pennies. I think they're all keepers. They're something that's uh, really cool for your collection. So stay tuned. I'll be making more videos in the future and uh, thanks for watching.